You there. Pardon my interruption. I need your help. Do you know the exit to this cathedral? There is only one exit, mademoiselle. And that is far twice and currently being battered down by the king's army. Mirta, to the quilters then. There are, however, several secret passages. Only the most devout know of them. Those who have prayed here since before this Louis was king. You are my saviour. If you would be so kind, please lead me to them. Only the engines and I shall make my way from there. Of course. Give me a moment. I can't look what they want to Thank you. Here. Have I ever paid you? You could come with me. Oh, you're not home! Hush! I'm not home! I'm not home! If you come with me, I can save you. There is indeed a secret exit from the cathedral. I, if you will be with me, we can escape together. Leave this city and, and live our lives out of peace far from here. You are possessed! You're a murderer! You tried to kill my Phoebus! I... I have made mistakes. Rash decisions. I... I realise this now, but it's suddenly all clear to me. None of that matters if we leave here together. You are the world to me, my beautiful gypsy girl, and if you will be with me, then nothing else will matter in the world. I cannot see. I could never be with you, Frollo. You're a man. Don't try and escape, my darling. There is only one exit that you know of out of here, and that is barred by the king. I would rather throw myself on all the country spears than be with you. I shall ask. One last time, my darling. The choice is simple. You either leave here alive with me, or you stay here and die at the hands of the king. Will you come with me? Very well. You have hurt me greatly. More than you could ever fathom. I will pray for your peace in the Lord's kingdom. How can you leave me here? You know I will die. You are a monster! Do not test me, Dipsy! If you won't help me, what good are you here? I might as well kill you myself. And <laughs> hand the prisoner! I'm only making your job easier for you, soldier. She's a fugitive, a pestilence on society. The king wants her alive. But if I cannot have her, no one will. Frollo. Make one move, Captain. And I will dig this dagger deep into her pristine flesh. Ah, Great Frollo. You are obstructing the law and can be charged as such. Do you see, as brother, even on the threshold of death, he cares more about the law than you. And have the fugitive. How can could you ever be together if he loves the law and his duty more than you? Leave me no choice, Frollo. No! The magistrate! He was the one who stabbed you in the alley, Phoebus. His brave being was going to watch as I hanged. Lies. The only crime he is guilty of is sheltering you. Sheltering? He will kill me if you take one more step. Phoebus, can you not see? I could never hurt you. He attacked me because I was yours and you were mine. He wanted me for himself. He stabbed you and was going to watch me hang. Is this true? Does she speak the truth, Rolo? What use is the truth now, Captain? We are at an impasse. You move. She dies. I take her with me. She dies. Either way. She dies. Do you understand now? Is it true? Yes! Very well. You have your precious truth. I am the shadowy figure who attacked you in the alley. I sold the mystery for you. I was saving her. You! You were abusing her. Abusing. I know That's what I saw! What I heard! Don't try and show him your way out of this one, Captain. Magistrate Frollo, stay calm! Calm! You are indeed deluded. But I'm gonna kill her first, and then I'll kill you. Not if he gets to you! <laughs> it's really a safe now! Magistrate Frollo, you are under arrest for attempted murder twice over and for obstructing the course of the law.
Do whatever you want. Take me away. You heard him. Esmeralda. I must apologize for leaving you in the plastic bed. I wasn't thinking. I hope you might be able to forgive me. And if we might be able to start over. I can forget. But you must know, I cannot ever forget. I cannot be your mistress, your plaything any longer. Go back to Fleur de Lis. You will lead your staid, stagnant life out with her. And I will live mine here with my family. They are not meant for one another. Esmeralda, wait! You heard the girl. Go back to your fiancé, pretty boy. You are never to see my sister again, do you hear? Is this what you want? Very well. I wish you all the best in the future. Come in, Mr. Elsa. Oh, goodbye then, Mr. Elsa. Quasimodo, don't be ridiculous. You're coming with us. I am. You seem to be a good protector of the girls. You promised me as ruthless and understanding as all the other ones. With the exception of your husband here. <laughs> You're always welcome. Well, well, thank you. You don't know what this means to me, but this is my home. I have never had another. You can have both. We're free spirits. We have to be rooted to one place. Cosimodo, come with us. See a life beyond these walls. You have a family now. <laughs> I've seen the tales surrounding our Notre Dame, but you have heard the romances and tragedies surrounding our heart of Paris. Take your experiences and stories with a pinch of salt. Not all is as it seems at first glance in the tale of Notre Dame of Paris. Monstrous hunchback, hated by all who shone with a golden heart and your soul. Never filled with passion, with naked pride. As we start a new one, we turn our eyes. Our majesty will end to us. Good night.